Hi guys and welcome back to a pregnancy update. Um, I am now uh, 24 weeks pregnant and if you haven't noticed I haven't uploaded in about three weeks a pregnancy update. Um, I know I've had a couple of people comment over on Instagram and on YouTube sort of asking where the updates were. Um, <coughs> so here I am back to fill you in on all the previous weeks, 22 and 23 and I think 21 as well if I didn't upload 21 weeks pregnant um so just to fill you in on how i'm feeling um how the pregnancy's going and all that good stuff that we missed out on um i'll be completely honest um i haven't been filming that much because i haven't been feeling great at all um, my plan was to actually film over last weekend um today is friday so i was going to plan a uh, film last weekend um when it was my son and my husband's birthday because I thought oh I'll have my makeup on I'll look decent and I'll film then but I just didn't get around to filming because I was filming the day and like looking after the kids so I didn't get around to actually filming and then all week this week has been a complete write-off um I don't know if you can hear I'm quite snivelly and coffee um we start getting a cough on the Sunday um just been feeling a bit blah um and my daughter and my eldest, my youngest daughter and my eldest son both had a temperature. Um, so they've not been great. Um, so we did actually go and get tested for the coronavirus, but that came back yesterday, actually negative. So me, Luke and the youngest and the eldest got tested because we thought there's no point testing all four of the kids because if one of us have got it, we've all got it. Um, and they all came back negative, so it's not that. Um, and then she's like Azzy, my baby, she's just not been great this week at all. She's come out in a rush now. Um, so I just haven't found the time to kind of just sit, get ready and film. Although I got ready now just like a poodle. So I'm just like, what even is this? Um, but yeah, like literally I've just put my makeup on, done my hair and then I'll be right back in my pyjamas because I'm not going anywhere today. Um, I still don't feel great. Um, but yeah, at least we know it isn't that, and um, I think we're all just a little bit under the weather. Um, so yeah, so the pregnancy. So like I said, I am 24 weeks now, just 24 weeks and two days. Um, so the biggest change is with the SPD. It's come back in full swing. Obviously nowhere near as bad as it's going to get, but it's making me very nervous. Um, Obviously, you know that I had to have crutches. My last pregnancy, um, it got really, really bad. And the fact that I'm 24 weeks pregnant and it's getting this bad again is, I'm not too hopeful that I won't need them this time. So thankfully, I've still got them. I didn't send them back. I know, naughty me, but obviously I didn't have much time between having the baby and getting pregnant again. So I thought, might as well keep them. Um, so I do still have them, I still have my support bands which I should be wearing around my pelvis to push it together but I'm going to be completely honest, D do they even work? I mean they might help a little bit but I was in excruciating pain last pregnancy so whether I'd have been even more pain if I didn't wear it I don't know. Um, so yeah so the main things with it is you know if I stay still for a very long time and then go to move that's when it kills. Um, if I wake up in the night and get up to go to the toilet I have to like twist out of the bed like really gently because my hips are like seized up and in agony um if i sit like with my knees up at the table or on the sofa and then i go to move a leg it'd be like oh <laughs> like a little old lady and i have to like twist it down nicely and yeah like i said 24 weeks pregnant and the pain is like getting to the point where it's like i'm having to like pause and take breaths and be like ouch so not too hopeful for not needing the crutches this pregnancy, definitely. Um, I didn't get the crutches until quite late on. I think I was about 35 weeks pregnant. Um, but I'd been in pain that the entire pregnancy and that was like their last resort. But if it gets too quite bad in this one, I'm not going to even like mess around. I'm just going to be like, right, taking the weight off my hips. This is too much. No. Um, but they did say... That's just the way that the cookie crumbles, I'm afraid, when you have back-to-back -back pregnancies. They warned me with Azaria, um, 
because I got pregnant only four months after giving birth, my hips did not have time to realign. Um, they would have been like obviously loosened from a pregnancy with snow, they didn't have time to go back, all the muscles would have been loosened. So a pregnancy straight on top of that just made them more loose, more like the baby was felt like heavier on your pelvis earlier on. And then again, four months after giving birth to Azzy, here we are again, pregnant again. So my pelvis is probably just absolutely hating me right now. Um, but it is what it is, what can you do? What can you do? Um, it isn't to the point like anywhere near as bad as it got with Azzy, but I am only 24 weeks pregnant and I can just see, I could just already feel it happening. Um, like I remember mentioning to you in a few videos ago about the twinges when I went up the stairs my right hip, my right hip was my bad hip. Like my bad hip, they were both bad, but it was the worst. Um, but yeah, it's gotten quite a lot worse. And um, I don't know if, if you watched my previous pregnancy videos about when I said in the night how it seizes up and then I have to like, like, I don't know, like what's, <laughs> it looks like you're like creeping to the toilet, but it's just because your hips don't bloody work. So I've had to start doing that and I have to like move and like stretch them a little bit before I can actually like walk. Oh, oh yes, yeah, so that's fun. Um, my sinuses have been really, really bad again. As always, nothing new there. We're all behind the eyes, the nose. Um, I've been going through paracetamol like nobody's business. I'm sure it doesn't even work anymore. I'm having to just keep topped up on paracetamol. Headaches are terrible. Um, I'm really, 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 really thirsty all the time. Um, nothing new. If you know me, you know I always have to have a drink. Like when I finish a drink, I have to open another drink. Even if I'm not thirsty, I just have to have it there. It's like a weird, I don't know. Like the things that I've got, like I get like little obsessions and I've always had that one since a kid. So I always have to have a drink. If I leave the house, I have to have a drink. If I move into the living room, I have to take a drink with me. If I move into the kitchen, blah, blah, blah. Upstairs, I have to have drinks. You'd be absolutely disgusted if you could see my bedside table right now. The amount of Coke cans that are on it. Really just need to just throw them away. Yes. So, um, that's vile. Um, so yeah, so I always have to have a drink. Um, and... My nausea in the sense of like aversions has gone so I can drink what I want so I'm back on my coca-cola which is obviously not a good thing but for me like that's just my norm so to be able to have my normal stuff again is obviously great Um, obviously not healthy not not saying it's healthy just that's just what I like full fat coke Um, so I like the same stuff that I liked before I can drink whatever I want to drink and the stuff I didn't like before I still don't like. So for example, Diet Coke, Pepsi Max, that, even though it's nothing to do with pregnancy, I'm just saying I can, I'm back to my old taste palette. Um, food though is still very different. Um, I've mentioned this in another video that I eat, eight, not eat, eat eight, mainly a i'd call it plant-based diet so sort of we're like i don't want to throw the word vegan around because it comes with all this big bleh but um i prefer the taste of vegan food vegan meats because i don't like gristles fats that kind of thing i prefer to i literally opt for the vegan version of anything so like sausages or why can't i think of anything else but sausages chicken <laughs> or any, whatever um, and obviously we have the dairy free milk and the dairy free butter and dairy free cheese blah, blah, blah. but this baby is just like no 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 mum I want the meat so I don't know like if that's my body's way of telling me I need more protein so like maybe if I ate like more beans or I don't know protein rich other stuff my body would stop craving meat um, because I know that your cravings is always like a sign for something, isn't it? So maybe if I'm craving meat, I'm low in protein and the baby's needing more protein. So it's like meat, 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 meat. Um, so that's the only thing that I'm having aversions to is vegan plant-based meat alternatives. Um, I don't drink milk anyway, um, but we do not have cow's milk in the house. That's just one of my errors. We only have plant-based milk so we have almond milk and soy milk so like if I have a hot drink which is rare these days because they kind of make me feel a bit sicky but if I have a coffee I'll still always have soy milk so I've not gone off that that's fine um obviously like the other stuff is just meat 
like a weird thing that this baby wants is meat which is if you know me you'd know that i always would opt for the vegetarian or vegan options always because i just prefer the taste there's no there's nothing really much more to it than that i don't want to go and dive too deep into it but yeah the baby's wanting meat um so if you've seen like my hello fresh videos or stuff like that and you see me cooking with me and think that's really weird i thought she was a vegan um then that's the reason why and no i never said i was a vegan i used to claim that but then that word comes with a whole lot of baggage off the internet so now i just got rid of that word and just say oh we eat mostly pan based so like the kids and snow is completely vegetarian she she's not even touched meat since she was born as is the same nothing to do with anything really just rambling on at this point so yeah so the baby is still craving meat even now like i'm like oh cheeseburger I really want cheeseburger. But yeah, so the, the things that are sort of crippling me at the minute are the sinuses, the SPD. They are the two bad things as far as symptoms go. Um, I've been a lot, lot, lot more tired in my previous pregnancies. I was worse earlier on. I know I've said this pregnancy is so much better. Um, maybe it's because I'm pregnant with a boy. I've got so much energy. I feel amazing. So kind of like eating my words at this point. Um, because I, it gets to, well, no, I wake up tired. It gets to midday. And if I sit down and don't do anything, oh, my eyes are like, you know that blinks where you just like and you feel like you can't open your eyes so it gets to like midday and then like i'll have maybe done lunch and then we'll come back and sit down and if i sit just sit down like say the kids are just being completely calm i don't have to do anything and just five minutes past me sat there i'm falling asleep <coughs> 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 yeah i'm falling asleep um but then i've said before like getting up and doing stuff I feel like I'm just really heavy my body's just really exhausted like I want to sit down so I probably my body's just telling me like you need some more sleep but that's a bit impossible I sleep as much as I can sleep with all the children that I have um so it is what it is obviously the baby's getting bigger so it's probably just making more energy suction from me what it's probably taking more energy from me um, making me tireder. Um, obviously, I'm not great right now because I've got this cough and cold. Um, so yesterday, um, I was just holding Snowy as he was asleep. So I, as he fell asleep on me, so I just popped her next to me on the sofa, like in, like her legs that way, and I put Azzy like this side of me, so she was between the back of the sofa and my legs, so she couldn't roll off. And then I was holding Snowy, letting Snowy have a cuddle. And we were just watching telly. And the next thing I knew, it was an hour later, and I woke up because the baby was wiggling. And obviously, you know, like mom, mom senses that the minute the baby wiggles, you're like, um. So yeah, Snow was asleep. I fell asleep, and it was all it was like 6 p.m. And I was like, whoa, that was a danger nap for Snow. Um. And yeah. She didn't go to sleep till like 11 last night. So that was my fault for having a bit of a cheeky afternoon nap with the girls. Um, but yeah, so that was the first daytime nap this pregnancy that has come about. But um, I've got a feeling there's going to be a few more of them. Um, my body's just like, eh. I'm waking up in the night. Um, obviously, like I said, to go to the toilet. It's not as bad as it was a couple of weeks ago. But um, I've read somewhere that the baby as it gets bigger comes up off the bladder and then when you go into your third trimester it goes back on it so i mean correct me if i'm wrong um but maybe that's just kind of like the phase i'm in at the minute where the baby's not as hard on the bladder um so i'm not waking up as much in the night um as this week she's she's only still been having her one night bottle which is at like 6 a.m so it's not really a night bottle but it's a night bottle for me because i'm just lazy so she goes to bed and then she wakes up for her night bottle. It was around 6am so it's like a morning bottle. But she goes back to sleep. So it's, you know what I mean. It's like the night time. Um, so she's still only been doing that. But through the night, because she's not well. She's had a fever. She's got a little cold. She's got snivels. She's quite like agitated and shuffling. Shuffling? Shuffling. And obviously like your mum senses are like do, do, do. So every single shuffle that she does, I'm like, wake up. I'm like, oh, is she okay? Is she okay? 
So this week I haven't been sleeping too well. So I've been waking with Azzy. Every like little shuffle she makes. Then I've been waking to go to the toilet. Then obviously waking up for her feed at like six. Which is like a sleep feed if that makes sense. So she, she shuffles and wakes and makes like little eh, baby sounds. Um, so I give her a make a bottle. Which obviously wakes me up because I have to make the bottle blah blah blah. While she's just like shuffling around. Then I feed her. And then as she drinks it, she just falls back to sleep. So she doesn't actually wake up, but it's like, it just like tides her through till like 9am ish. Um, which probably seems like really late to some of you, but we are not a early family in this house. Um, thankfully, Snowy, she's always slept through. She's she just, she's a 12 hour baby. She just put her down, that's it, we don't hear again. Till 12 hours later, so um I actually woke her up today because um, it got to like half ten and she still wasn't awake but that's because she went to bed late last night and then if I didn't wake her up she would do it again tonight and then that's not a routine I want to get into. Um, so yeah so she's a 12 hour sleeper thankfully so just my problem not problem but my like, issue at the minute was just Azzy being sick so she's been waking me a lot more in the night and the baby on my bladder making me go for a wee in the night so I've been really tired and obviously my immune system isn't great because I've got this cough and this cold. Just keep repeating myself. Um, what else? I think that's all kind of like the symptoms and the negatives and just filling you in on where I've been and why I've not been updating. So good things. Um, the baby is li really, really active now. Like literally like. Um, um, Luke's been able to feel him, him, little boy. Um, been able to feel him moving. I keep calling it the baby, but it's a boy, the baby boy. Um, so yeah, he's like booting me now, which is good because obviously there's a time there where I was like, hmm, is this another anterior placenta? No, it's not. The baby is kicking, which I'm glad about because this is definitely the last pregnancy, and um, I'm glad that I get to at least experience all the the kicks and things. Because with Azzy, obviously you're still pregnant, like <laughs> you're still experiencing it, but like it's 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 not the same when you don't feel as strong kicks. Do you know what I mean? It's just, I'm glad that this time I get the full experience. Obviously I wouldn't have minded <coughs> had it been an interior placenta, like I wouldn't have cried about it, um, but it is just nice that I am feeling him kicking and kind of like bonding with him because this pregnancy is very, very different. This is something else that we can talk about. This pregnancy seems very different um, because of the time frame. So obviously my boys, I got to enjoy both pregnancies. Keen was a little bit older. He was like two when I was pregnant with Bo. Um, so I, the pregnancy was kind of like new and exciting again. And then obviously Keen was just a, an only child. So that was like easy to appreciate the pregnancy. Obviously Keen's pregnancy was my first pregnancy. So that was just like, you obviously, you're obsessed, aren't you? When you're first pregnant, you're like, oh my God, my first baby. And then Bo's pregnancy I got to enjoy. Snow's pregnancy was seven years later. So that was really exciting. Obviously that was mine and Luke's first child together. So we was like enjoying all the kicks, going baby shopping, doing this and that. Um, Azzy was planned. So it was like, yay, we've got another baby. And then um, Snow was like such a chill little baby that I could sort of enjoy the pregnancy, relax, do what I needed to do. But then this pregnancy, obviously I've got the baby who, um, I mean, she's still a chill baby, don't get me wrong. She's as good as babies get. Um, but obviously she, she gets quite sick quite a lot. So like I have to like look after her. Um, I, Snow is like a toddler now. She's like 22 months now. So obviously constantly like, I don't know, playing with her, feeding her, looking after her, watching telly. The boys, they're, ho they're both homeschooled now. So I'm doing lessons, um, obviously everything you do in the house, cleaning, cooking, blah, blah, blah. So homeschooling as well, looking after a toddler as well, looking after a baby, um, which is fine, but it means that I've just not been able to like acknowledge the pregnancy as much as I'd like to because I'm so busy. Um, and obviously we haven't been able to go out and buy baby stuff and get excited because we have it all. We have all the baby stuff, um, but yeah. Um, my camera is flashing at me that it's low battery. That's probably just giving me a sign to shut up. Um, I think I'm just going to leave this here. This is really long already. Um, I will try and update you next week. Um, if you like me, go and subscribe to my Instagram. It will be linked down below as always. Like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.